Welcome. Today is day five of our 40 days of prayer and fasting, and it's on the theme, Stand. My name is Kyle, and I'm from, the, from Harvest Time Eau Claire, and I'm the youth pastor. Today, I want you to check out 2 Samuel chapter 23, verses 11 and 12. And it, the character that you're going to be introduced is a guy named Shammah. And Shammah ends up standing in the middle of a field by himself, defending this field against an attacking group from the Philistines. And what Shammah knew at this point is that the Philistines were attacking a small, insignificant spot of land. And the reason that um, they were doing that is that the Philistines wanted to establish an outpost. They wanted to establish a uh, base of operations. And if they did that, they could advance and advance and advance. And so Shammah knew that he had to defend his, his spot. And he ends up defending it against um, all odds, he, he got the victory that day. And as I was thinking this through, like, how do we bring this back to Jesus? And oftentimes I've heard this preached that Shammah, you know, stand against the enemy, stand against uh, the evils in this world. And yes, we should, but you know what? We're not the hero in the story, Jesus is. And so Shammah is um, just a foreshadowing of, of something greater coming, and that's Jesus. And so Jesus ended up having to fight on behalf of those who couldn't fight for themselves, that there was that there was an insignificant field that was going to be completely desolated and taken over by the enemy, but Jesus stepped in. And that's all of our story, that we're the field in this story, we're not the shame, and Jesus came and defended us and got us a victory. And so he's the one who stands. So what do we do with all this information? What do we do? Um, the first thing is we need to understand the gospel of Jesus that he bought our victory and that we can stand assured the victory that was won through Jesus is now ours through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. And secondly, we, need, we do need to stand. Today, we need to not give an inch to the enemy. And so maybe you're dealing with sin, maybe you're dealing uh, with something. Let's repent of that today. Uh, sin can be anything that you know is against what God's asked you to do. And, and sometimes it's God's asked you to do something, but you're not doing it. So let's repent of that today. And let's declare the promises of God. Let's declare them over ourselves and our family. That you know what? Alcoholism, drug use, it ends. That we're standing against that. Maybe divorce has run rampant in your family. You know what? No, that, that ends. That, that, that is not a generational thing anymore. And that addiction, that bondage, whatever it might be, that that's going to end. And that we're going to stand. And that's going to be cut off by the, by the blood of Jesus. Thank you for joining with us today. And don't forget that uh, January 30th at 6 p.m., we're having our annual Progress and Praise meeting at Harvest Time Eau Claire. And then after that Progress and Praise meeting, we'll be having our second worship night following that Progress and Praise meeting.